Hi, and welcome to March of 2013. Today, I'm not going to do an instructional video. I'm going to do a project video. Backstory, once upon a time, uh, my wife and I were taking a road trip across the country about 15 years ago, and we stopped in Emporia, Kansas to get Arby's. In the parking lot, we found this little dude. He's about yay big. He's, he's got a little gray suit on and he's bald. He's not a ninja. He might be kung fu. Uh, we find this guy and we've had him with us ever since. Every time there's a romantic event, right, little dude is like the, the herald of the romantic event. There was one year where I had flowers sent to my wife and I went to the florist and I said, here's little dude, put him in the flowers. So now uh, Valentine's Day <laughs> has come and gone, but um, I, I decided, you know, what, what if little dude were to jump out and do something? What if he j came out of a kitchen cabinet and he like rappelled down, you know, like little commando style and was like, hello. And so that's what I did. This is little dude. Hello, I am little dude. As you can see, uh, in order to get him to rappel out of anything, I had to attach, you know, his little climbing rope. And this is just hot glue. So all that comes off and we can save him for another event. So little dude has to come out of a cabinet door and rappel down. Ah! The door's gotta open and he's gotta come down. Let's break that up into separate tasks. How do we make the cabinet door open? We gotta find something that moves. Servo, eh, that would be hard, take a lot of torque, might take a lot of current. Ooh, there's that stepper motor that we sell that's got the worm gear in it. Uh, I think the screw is only about yay long, so it's not a lot of throw on that. I mean, all I gotta do is basically push the door at the outside edge, right? What if I just attached a motor to a pulley with a string that pulled the rod, right? And I could use like a block or something and the rod would stick in. So that'll take a little motor and a little motor driver. Okay, so I got a rough idea what that's gonna be. Little dude. Yeah, that should just be another motor, right? Another motor on a pulley with some string. All right, well now I think I know enough to start drawing something. How am I gonna push the door? I can push against the back of the cabinet or I can hook around the front of the shelf. That'd be a little easier. So let's say I've got a platform like yay and then I put like a hook or something around here so it'll kind of hook around the shelf what am I gonna do with the rod what if I take like a block of wood I just drill a hole right through the middle roughly the size of the rod and I had some carbon rod that's about uh, three-eighths of an inch huh, that'll work I put this rod I drilled a hole and the rods like yay and the rod sticks out that end okay so I have to pull it that way to open the door. So if I maybe mounted the motor for this one about like yay and put a pulley on it and then just had a string attached to the end of this thing, it'll just zzz. So the motor, let's see. Any old motor? No, 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 no. Start with a geared motor. Um, and we have a couple of different ones and the one that's geared down the most is 100 to 1. That'll open the door. Then I gotta get little dude to come out and he's gotta be on the outside, right? Well, this rod, right, when this thing is pushed out, it's gonna be out to about, eh, we'll give it that. Oh, I can use some like brass fuel tubing from like some of my model stuff. And I could run like a little piece and then, yeah, and then kind of curve it down. So like the string will go down and it goes, da, 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 and maybe I can mount this motor about like, yay, with the pulley and the string and little dude. I'm gonna need a, a motor driver and I'm gonna need some means of control. And how am I going to get it to initiate? I have to wait till she's in the right spot in the kitchen, right? I could set it on a timer. That'd suck, I'd never know when she'd be in the right spot and I'd do it wrong. So I did my favorite platform, which is uh, an Arduino Pro Mini and a Bluetooth Mate. And then I can control it from my phone. How awesome is that? So Pro Mini about yay big, a driver board, there's a two channel driver, the TB6612 uh, FNG, and that's about yay big, and I can wire that stuff and then just stick the Bluetooth. And then what do I use for power? Oh, I got a two cell LiPo sitting around, and I can, yeah, that's about, yeah, I think it's 800 milliamp hour, string that to the, this is gonna work, I'm gonna throw something together. Start with the motors, those are uh, probably the most important things there. So the motors are, 100 to 1 geared and the skew rob for robot 08912. To control those guys, um, we have a neat little motor driver. I'm sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at my notes. 
It's TB6612 uh, FNG two channel H bridge driver. It's cheap. And there's a builder example. Thank you, Adam Meyer. Rob 09457. Then, of course, uh, there's the Pro Mini, which is going to be mounted on the side there. Dev. One, 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 three. The Bluetooth, um, like I said, it was from a previous project, but this is effectively um, a Bluetooth Mate, which is designed to go into the um, FTDI port on a Pro or a Pro Mini, okay? And this is the Bluetooth Mate serial that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you the part number for because it's cheaper. W R L one zero three nine. And then there's the battery. Uh, I used a two cell LiPo, 7.4 volts, 800 milliamp hour. It doesn't take a whole lot of current to drive this thing. It's a good value because it gives you a little extra juice for the motor drive because the motors through the controller drive off the full battery voltage. And it's also low enough as to not tax the regulator on the Pro Mini. So how do we wire up all this junk and make it work? Here's my 7.4 volt battery and I got 8.2. That doesn't really look like a two, I suppose, but it's 8.2 when you charge this thing up fresh. We've got a Pro Mini here and you got the TB6612 FNG driver there and two motors. You hook the 7.4 up to raw on the Pro Mini. Okay, and that sends it through the regulator. And then you send the 7.4 also to VM on the TB66 da -da 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 board. This is motor voltage, okay? This device will switch out this voltage, not this voltage, which is only five volts, this voltage, which is 7.4. And then you power the logic on the TB6612 with the five volts out on the Pro Mini, okay? So this is an end ground for each of these. So that now I've got power, power's good. The wiring, pretty simple. This is almost exactly out of Adam's example. Five volt from the Pro Mini goes to VCC, that's me. Um, and these are all the Arduino pins. Three goes to PWMA, eight goes to AN2, nine goes to AN1, uh, 10 goes to standby, 11 goes to BN1, 12 goes to BN2, and five goes to PWMB. And of course, these are the pins right off the Pro Mini. And these are the labelings on the TB6612 FNG breakout board. Now you also see down here, I, I sort of put this in just just so you know it's there. TX and RX go to the Bluetooth Mate. And the reason why I kind of gloss over that is because the Bluetooth Mate just plugs into the FTDI port on the Pro Mini. It's really easy to do. These things default to 115.200, so watch that when you're doing your code. You gotta set it for 115.200. So here's all my inputs here. Now all I gotta do, uh, A01, A02, and I'm pretty sure that's a typo. It's probably AO for out. These go to the door open motor. That'll drive that and B01 and B02 drive little dude motor. That's the whole schematic. This thing is pretty simple. So this is the thing that I built. Uh, first thing I wanna point out is this guy up here. You have to attach a string. When I first started this, the string was just attached to the very end of the carbon rod. Discovered I didn't have enough gearing to push open a really stiff cabinet door that way. I took, it's, it's a ball joint out of an RC car. It's not totally smooth on the inside of it, but it's smooth enough and it'll act as a guide for the string. So then you take the string, you put around there and then you secure the string way back there. Well now you got an extra two to one gear on that thing. How did I attach it? Hot glue. Hot glue is your friend. Then string goes back to pulley. Wh what's that pulley and how did you attach it? The pulley is actually two standard size servo wheels butted together with hot glue and shoved on the shaft of the motor. It's that easy. And when it cools, man this thing hooks up. I have tried uh, epoxy for this application um, and it has worked but the epoxy tends to be brittle and after a while the pulley will break. The motor is secured to the wood by hot glue. The angle of the motor is a little bit critical. The shaft, when it's way out far, the angle of the string is like this and when it's in close, the angle of the string is like this, right? So you gotta pick an angle for the motor where you're gonna kinda run in between most of the time, so that's kind of what I did. And I had to move this a couple of times, so the hot glue really came in handy, because all I gotta do is heat it up, twist it around, cools off, you're all done again. This guy drops little dude down. Same thing, he's hot glued onto the wood, right there, pulley made in the same fashion, hot glued servo wheels. So you gotta pick an angle for the motor here so that the string doesn't bind. And it's not as critical as the other one, because it's not gonna be active until about yay when the door is open. Then there's this fuel tubing. Now, as you can see, this is like totally chewed up. I did not have the right tool to do this, but 
I got it done. Pliers, a screwdriver, and a hammer. And this is just hot glued onto the shaft, right? The shaft is going to maintain its position because of this string. Because the, uh, blah, 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 the, the ball joint that's acting as a guide, it's going to hold this uh, pretty secure, or at least secure enough. So when this comes out, it's still going to be about yay. And I can pretty well depend on that thing being in that position when it's fully extended. This little rubber band, it can be such that the string will come loose. So I want this thing always getting a little tension on the back of this to keep this string tight. Uh, the battery is Velcroed down to this, so it'll come right off. The electronics, uh, I got two boards mounted to this thing. The Pro Mini's on this side and the motor driver's on this side. I just took a couple of single 0.1 sized headers and I use them in opposite corners of each board and just stuffed them into the wood. And then lastly, the Bluetooth mate. It just plugs in. Here we go. Hope this works. And there he goes. Little dude. And yeah. We're in my kitchen and I'm gonna show you a demo of what this thing actually does. I've got the command loaded in here. You ready? Here we go. So now for the actual video of the event. Uh, Courtesy of Greg, I placed a GoPro up on the cabinet up there that she didn't know about. No, go check out the microwave, actually. What's wrong with the microwave? Stir. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's the ninja dude. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, sweet. So there you have it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, I think it got me a few brownie points on Valentine's Day. Now I have to transfer possession of little dude to her and I will see him sometime down the road. Probably jammed in a sandwich or something. I don't know. So thanks again for watching uh, and uh, keep the comments coming and put them in the comment section below. You can put your questions in the comment section below or you can send them to feedback at sparkfun.com with according to Pete in the subject line. See you next month.